What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is June 15th, 2020, the year of mayhem. And as you guys know, a lot, a lot of sneak releases have been delayed. That goes for Yeezys, that goes for Nikes, that goes for Jordans, that goes for New Balances. That goes for a lot, a lot of upcoming collaborations that we wanted to see. Even regular GRs got delayed. And in this video, we're going to talk about a little bit of an updated release calendar of sorts for this week as well as a few days following this week now this weekend is looking like this is finally when a lot of the releases are coming back first of all we had the jordan hair sixes supposed to release a week and a half ago or two weeks ago if i'm not mistaken pushed back to this weekend oh uh, eu release though did already see them they saw the hairs they're about to see the tie dyes before us they are they already saw the dunk low reds so from the e if you're in the eu and you saw my how to cop guides beforehand and everything then you're pretty much straight you already know how the release went for you if you're in the U.S., shit got mumbo jumbled. Even stuff that was supposed to come out this week got pushed back till next week, and stuff that was supposed to come out two weeks ago got pushed back like four weeks. So everything is just misplaced all over the place, and today we're going to set the facts straight, talk about what retailers are getting what specific sneaker, kind of a how to cop guide for this entire week. So we'll blow through it all, talk about what retailers have already announced details, uh, the main releases you should focus on, retail resale, and everything else throughout that. We're going to pop open the green screen, put you guys on the screen recording, and dive through it. Before I start, I want to let you guys know, Premium Discord Group is opening up just a few slots this Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you guys are interested, all the info is up on the screen right now. We get early links, monitors, info, site lists, early links, raffle lists. Flips, non-sneaker flips, uh, daily fantasy sports now. We might add trivia bot in there sooner once again because we took it out because some people didn't like it. But once again, a lot of new additions come to the group, so I hope you guys are ready for that. Uh, and without further ado, let's pop open the green screen. And as you guys can see, we're currently live up on the screen. And you might say, you might say, why do you need to be in Tomboy TV Plus? Like, what's the reason? And, well, we just caught some restocks. Unfortunately, I was setting up the green screen, so I didn't catch it in time. But most definitely... Most definitely worth it because you have just seen those restocks. But without further ado, let's go ahead and close this up. Shout out Concepts, Restock, Royal Toes, LeBron 7 Media Days, and the Tokyo, and the Fear of Gods actually as well. So first of all, we're going to go up here onto Nike Sneakers. Uh, as you can see, as you know, Nike Sneakers is the also mighty application where everyone takes those L's and the Gotham's. The Gotham's are so very much so rare. And uh, everyone knows what the L screen looks like. They didn't get them. It hurts, but you know, it happens. We've got to take the L's as they come along. Now, for the end of June, we we're slowly starting to pick up speed once again. June was looking like to be a crazy, crazy good month. If you guys saw my how to the shoes to buy for June 2020, that video did really well. I appreciate it if you watched it. Uh, I talked about it. I said it was going to be a great, great month. Got pushed back a lot of stuff to July. So it looks like July is going to be the biggest movie month of the year. Well, so far, you know, we can't predict the future too, too much, but a lot of good stuff dropping at least. Now, first of all, we got the Air Force uh, 3 4th GTs. I think they're called the Sky Force 3 4th. Not really a big fan of them, but I do like that swoosh. And we do have the matching Blazer Mid 777s seven, 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 dropping same day on June 17th. But we do have the hair, finally, the Jordan 6 neutral get gray hairs, uh, as you know, in correlation with Space Jam. I did a full how to cop guide on these. If you want to see more in depth, my thoughts on the sneakers as well as reasonable predictions, you're more than welcome to check out that video. It'll be linked in the description below. As you can see, $190 retail available on the 17th of June at 10 a.m. Eastern. You got the full look right here. Iconic colorway. Um, gonna, gonna be really, uh, it's gonna resonate with a lot of the og sneaker heads in the game that's why always the bigger sizes do best on such an og colorway sneaker for example fire red fives bigger bigger sizes tend to do best dmp sixes bigger sizes tend to do the best and that's specifically seen in the air jordan 13 flints everyone knows them shits went yo, 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 to the moon uh in bigger sizes you know size 13 especially going up there holding up its value relatively well as well so i'm happy to see that that a lot of people aren't just undercutting and panicking at the end of the day uh but next going on to the rest of the week that's pretty much it that's confirmed on nike sneakers at the moment but truth be told there is some other stuff releasing that's not up here just just yet uh, but we do have, once again, this is not really this week, but then the following week after this on the 22nd of June, we do have the Air Force One B Trues. I think this is a great sneaker, great cause, and absolutely wonderful cup. It will be profitable at the end of the day. All right, I haven't looked at market really like resale wise since I did the June video. I don't know if market is destroyed yet or not, but I can tell you right off the bat, this shoe is going to do the numbers. 1000% sure. This shoe is going to be miraculous. Uh, and as you guys know, the dunks did get pushed back. Next week is supposed to be pretty decent as well. Animal Instincts are an easy pass. Jordan 1 tight ass are going to be a movie. And this whole entire weekend, then the June 26th, then on to July 1st. 
We have the, the beginning of July is going to be amazing, spectacular. Right off the bat, we do have the Nike Dunk Low Reds, which, as I said, is a must cop on my end. So that's pretty much Nike sneakers right now. And where you can go ahead and cop the Hair 6s, for example, we do have a Detail R Villa right now doing uh, in-store registration, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, you must pay by PayPal invoice to Detail R Villa. Now, what I do want to say, a lot of stores are already opening up. I know New Jersey's opening up, New York is opening up, California has been opening up for a little bit. Down south, they're having a wave too, so I don't know what they're going to do about that specifically, but I know they're beginning to open up as well. So once again, how to check, call your local establishment. I know Snipes USA is opening up all locations. You can check their Twitter for the full list on them. Uh, specific retailer boutiques, I would definitely check out the Instagram or call them or shoot them an email. Uh, I'm sure they're, they're really excited to back, be open back for business because, you know, Tough times, but you know, better times ahead of us, as they say. Chic is also one of the establishments that already do have the Air Jordan 6 hair raffle open. Uh, there are slowly more and more retails are beginning to open up. I know a specific boutique near me, uh, Sneak Room, is opening up just for example. Uh, a lot of them, once again, are beginning to open up because this release is on the 17th, and today it is the 15th, so two days away. So relatively pretty close release date from today. Resale-wise, though, once again, bigger sizes will do better. Pretty much market wasn't too, too effective by how uh, the release went down in the EU. I know EU did drop them already. Still looking pretty solid cops. Once again, I focus on pre-orders. I'll definitely list them up on eBay right now for around 250 240 just around there. See if, see if people bite, take it, and you could straight up drop ship it to them. So that takes away all the shipping expenses. Now, how do you drop ship? Check out. Dr, dr, dr. you put in your billing info and all that but you put in their shipping address now the risk with that is they could say it never arrived and you don't have proof of per like taking pictures of the shoes and yourself but you know that's all you gotta make sure you're shipping to a verified person if you want to know more info and tips and tricks on ebay selling check out some of my past videos i did do especially on i did i call it the quarantine flip so just look that up time boy tv tv time boy tv quarantine flips and you'll see some more videos about that Next up, we do have the Air Max 90 SP Total Orange and Black. Unfortunately, this is another release that only the EU will see this early. US was supposed to see it. It's not loaded up on Nike Sneakers US, uh, so we expect it to be delayed for us. But nonetheless, we've seen this is the third colorway we are going to see this year of the Air Max 90 Duck Camo. We did see the Infrared Regular Duck Camo. We did see the Lime uh, violet, not lime green, neon green, and duck camo. Now we have the all orange duck camo over here. Uh, and is one of the main retailers that are open up right now at the moment for a raffle. I think this sneaker looks amazing, but I wouldn't wear it myself just because it's too bright, too much for me, too flamboyant. And resale wise, though, I do see it holding its value, but nothing more than the OG colorway. I think the OG duck camo with the infrared color blocking will do the best. This will just, I think, in the order they release these colorways in is how they're going to do well in resale. I think this will be the third best reselling Air Max 90 duck camo of this year, and it's also the third one to ever release this year. Regular Nike retail, uh, but of course, you do know and does charge a premium for all the raffles. Just an FYI, be cautious of which raffles you're going to enter. But another overseas retailer that does have them is Foot Patrol. Not such a great image, but you know, you get the, you get the shenanigans coming on. And actually, they're closed. Ah, they're closed. They close on, drug closes Saturday. It's not even, oh yeah, it is. It is way past that. Looks like a lot of you, maybe some of you retailers are already starting to close. I know uh, end closes when they actually do come out, which is the official release date for overseas. And that is on, that is on duh, 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 the 19th. So shout out to you, 3 o'clock BST. Now, another release that we are going to be seeing soon for the US and EU will be seeing way before us is the Air Jordan 11 Retro Women's White Black Concord. Retail is actually somewhat reasonable for these. This is 155 pounds. I know I messed up before on my how to cop guide and I apologize. Yo, sometimes, you know, Americans, we don't got it thinking straight up in the dome. But two hour, two days left to enter, so you guys have some time to enter if you're interested. I think this, as I said before, is a great shoe to sell locally. A lot of the OG Jordan Retros, OG Colorways tend to do really, really well, once again, the bigger, bigger sizes. But this is a woman's sneaker, so keep that in mind. But you can't really tell it's a woman's sneaker. It has the icy, beautiful blue soles. Nice blue color blocking with the white and black tints. I think it's, once again, a wonderful, wonderful color colorway to even focus on. And, uh... Yeah, I think it's an automatic great cop, but once I wouldn't really panic too much if you can't get a pair right now. What? Well, well, this is what I'm gonna say. The thing about getting stuff from the EU, you can get it early. Like for example, the the group, we you know we got the Puerto Rico Air Force ones. You know we did pretty well on them, and that's the benefit. Like EU, if you can catch pairs early, say something for 
probably won't happen, but say it at least gets clipped, like the Puerto Rico Air Force ones, you already have a pair confirmed, and you can breathe easy. One thing I want to say, like the Jordan 11 Low Concord, not the Concords, but the Breads, they're at least in you a minute ago, like two weeks ago, people already got their pairs in, and you could already sold and made some easy money. Now when the US, US release comes out, more pairs are going to be in the market, that's more competition. So the one benefactor of buying from the EU is once again having it early and being able to sell it early, but if you do buy it early, actually sell it early, because then at the end of the day, you can just go back to the US release and get more pairs, so I wouldn't really panic about that. But the other release I'm going to touch upon briefly today is the Air Jordan 5 Top 3s. Now, these are confirmed to be releasing this, well, not 100% confirmed, still speculatively, but I'm really, really hoping inside of me that it's going to come out this Saturday. Once again, not 100% confirmed just yet, but a retailer is already starting to do releases. I know Copenhagen got, oh, or some shit like that. I don't know, from Ohio. They did a, sh a release, quote unquote, this past Saturday. The, our monitors picked up right away. I checked out Apple Pay. Apple Pay, boom, got my size 13 confirmed. Was like, yo, I'll have an early hand, an early pair in hand for you guys to see. Got canceled. So that's why I'm saying maybe, hopefully, they pushed it back to this week. Once again, this is a shoe that's not up on Nike sneakers just yet, and I really don't consider it 100% confirmed till Nike sneakers does put it out there. Just because you know, sometimes they do this wishy-washy stuff, as we have seen. Uh, but this release, I'll talk about more tomorrow, hopefully, when I do get some more details. But yeah, pretty much the main sneakers of this week. We do have the hairs. We do have the Air Max 90 orange camos. We do have the 11 Concord lows. And we do have the Jordan 5 top three. So this week, it's looking like things are starting to speed up once again. I definitely recommend copping. Honestly, they all look like solid cops. eBay, I can't say enough. eBay, local sales have been killing it for me lately specifically myself i've been i've been i've been really doing really well on there i've stopped selling i mean i never really focused too much on these other apps i do like to do go a little bit more often than stockx just because and go market is a bit higher on most days, just at 3% feet. Sometimes it does feel weird, but it does pay off at the end of the day. But without further ado, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck this week. We got a lot of cool releases. Finally back at it. We're starting to pick up speed. Stay tuned for this week's Supreme release because I'm hearing some really good things about it. I'll catch you guys then. Peace. <laughs>